Well, there's four components to ring seal. The piston, the groove, the ring itself, the oil, and the finish on the wall. So if, if, we, if we assume that we've got well-designed pistons that have good ring grooves in them and that we've got good oil and we know what phone number to buy to get really good rings, now we're down to the hone. And the hone is made up of peaks and valleys. And the peaks don't do a whole heck of a lot except help break in the ring. And for the most part, real race engines don't have much peak left in them after they're broken and have a few runs on them or a few miles on them. But the engines live and seal on valley. And the valley holds the oil, which lubricates the ring, and that's how ring seal is accomplished. The peaks, again, on a race engine, they're wiped out very early on in the, in the life cycle of the engine. So we've got to focus on the crosshatch angle and, and the depth of the valleys based on how long we want this engine or this hone to last. But with the rings we have today, we need valley to lubricate them. I told a guy yesterday <laughs> on an industrial engine, they're used to running what I would call, you know, inexpensive iron rings, you know, the the OEs are really good at saving pennies, and which is, at the end of the day, cost everybody a lot of dollars. So if you spend the dollars in the front, he said, how long do you think the rings are gonna last? And I told him 100 years, and <laughs> he looked at me. But if the valleys are right, and the oil's clean, and you don't do anything stupid, there's no reason for the rings to ever wear out, the rings we have today. Now, there, there's other aspects of it, especially when you get into what he's doing, and that we're making heat in the combustion area that is out of control sometimes. And what happens is that ruins the rings, and it ruins the ring grooves. But in a normal situation, if everything's tuned up right, and we don't do anything stupid, and don't make any mistakes, the rings will last forever. I'd say years ago, whenever you honed it, you put new rings in it. Whenever you put new pistons, you put new rings in it. But that all subsided, and we found that you didn't need to hone it all the time, and you didn't ever need to change the rings, and the only reason you changed the pistons is because you thought they might break. So whether you put a new ring on a used piston or a used piston and a new, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, the, the, the ring has to seal primarily to the cylinder wall and the piston simultaneously. It has to seal to the ring groove. And that's when we get into the assumption that the pistons you're using happen to have good ring grooves. That isn't always the case. And that's where a lot of this little bit of performance uh, in some cases and a lot of performance in other cases comes and goes is from the lack of good ring grooves. 